day four, and I have to tell you guys, I am having a ton of fun doing this, and I hope you're enjoying it too. I never really thought so much about my process. I just did it, but this has really been interesting for me as well. I've learned a lot. So let's go ahead and jump into the day. So let's see. Uh, yesterday I made this pocket, and so um, I left this spot here for something and I ended up just doing a little bit of journaling actually about doing this daily process and this little guy I just loved so I put him here and then I had some washi tape that I added to that to that white space and then yesterday I spent a big part of my day making jelly prints and I had a ball doing it um, I saw a video where you actually make your own stamps and out of foam rubber. So um, I did that. These are the, the stamps that I made. And it was just really a ton of fun. So I wanted to incorporate a jelly print somehow into my journal without really just, you know, writing about it or anything like that. So this background piece right here is it one of my jelly prints and then I love this image I think it I think it might be a Mary Englebright and I got it out of Somerset magazine and basically what I did was I I do my to-do lists on uh, four by six index cards so I just glued this onto my to-do list for the week and it was perfect so you can see I'm making a little progress, though I still have some things I have to do, and my list probably isn't totally complete. But um, something I wanted to tell you guys, when you do tip-ins, and if you don't really want to add washi tape, uh, just use scotch tape, which is what I did here, so that you get the whole image. You don't have to um, cover it up with washi tape. Just a, just a little tip. And then I also... Um, just added this happiness is calling and these rub-ons. So if you don't happen to have like rub-ons like this, you can just make triangles and co color them in, you know, if you don't, don't have those. So that's pretty simple. So I think that's it. I think that's everything that I've added. Um, oh, I just added these little stars here, but, but that's it. Okay, so a couple things uh, I wanted to go through with you on... Um, so just a small tip when you have washi tape and you want to have a ragged edge just use your decorative scissors if you have them when because when you tear them sometimes it's not quite ragged enough you want further so just a little tip you can always use your decorative scissors and cut those off on the end Yesterday I went through a lot of my magazines and tore out pages and I thought I'd just share some of them with you so you can see my thought process behind um, the magazines, why I ripped them out. So this one actually I saved because I like the letters and I frequently use letters in my journal um, so it looks sort of like a ransom note kind of thing. But I like these because, uh, I don't know if you can see, but they actually have a lot of uh, pattern in them. So I cut those out. I like this. Art is not a crime. I thought that would be good somewhere. Um, I, I cut this for the word summer and I think I'm going to put this on a postcard. So you'll see a lot of words that I cut out. Time to move forward. You can use that a lot places. I liked this one. Um, you know going back to that little tip I gave you before. Um, I'm going to somehow use her. This one struck me, these are rocks, I really love this one, and somehow I'm going to fit that into something. This one again is great, this is me tackling my closet when I open, when I open it. <laughs> I like that. Um, and this one I particularly cut out for this flower, I think that would be really effective somewhere, just by itself, when you need a, just a little something to fill in an area. Again, this woman is just, just walking, good area, good uh, general picture for something. Okay, so this one, I had cut out this light bulb a while ago, and I really liked it. Well, because I would go this way, I think, at the top of my journal. And then 
I saw this do the bright thing and I thought, how great would that be for a good idea or something like that? So that's why I saved that one. Uh, this one, I just, I like the colors and once again, this may be something that I end up scalloping or cutting flags out of or something, but I, I think it'd be good. I love these plates. I've cut these out before and I'm going to use them somewhere. Uh, just just another woman that will be good. Same with this one. I think I've showed you this dog before. I like him. Um, this was, I have it for two things. One, the glasses. I like those. And believe it or not, this is a cookie. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh, the decorative stuff done on there. But I like it because it looks like a plate, so I'll probably use that. This one I think is really cool because it has the word redefine. I would cut it off here and then cut it along this line. And I think that could be really effective somewhere. Love all these coffee cups. I think they're outstanding. This came from HGTV magazine, so I know I'm going to use those somewhere. And this one too, I think this would be really fun uh, if you needed just a little something you could color these in. There's a lot you could do with these. And, you know, when I save these things, too, I also do uh, mail art. And so, you know, some of these were good, would be good for mail art. Uh, this woman would be great for something. And I absolutely love this lamp. I could use that saying again, bright idea, under this. But I thought this would be really cool. And these are good, too. I like those. And this is just really great as far as strips could look like washi tape there's a lot you could do with that as well so I think that's everything I have for you guys today so I will see you tomorrow in the next video thank you for watching